Alien Romulus is the seventh movie in the Aliens franchise, and though it may not reinvent the wheel for Alien movies, it takes what works and cranks it up to 100. Run. Before we get into more of my spoiler-free thoughts on Alien Romulus, over 90% of you guys who watch these videos aren't yet subscribed, so if you do enjoy this video and don't want to miss out on more, hit that button, both the whiskey any more time, let's get right into it. There's a lot to talk about with this movie, but I have to start off with Kaylee Spaney. I mean, this is an alien movie directed by Fede Alvarez that just feels super unique. But at the core of it, my personal hype for it was just through Kaylee Spaney. I have been a massive fan of all of her work, Priscilla, Civil War, you name it. I absolutely love what she's doing right now. And this movie was no different. Every single one of the trailers looked amazing. Her moments just felt like they were gonna fully excel in this film and they completely did. I have a couple of flaws with this film, but Kaylee Spaney is definitely not one of them. She puts on an absolutely amazing performance. There's another actor that I also think does a pretty good job, but I think it was mainly just because of how surprising his character was, as there wasn't much revealed about him in the trailers, whereas Kaylee Spaney, we kind of knew what we were getting into from the trailers, and she delivers that and much more. There's just this wide range of emotion that she's able to capture. She is the perfect final girl, and I think there is an inherent flaw with her character just in comparisons to previous Alien franchise movies, which I'll get into later, but for this movie alone, I absolutely love her story, and maybe Fede Alvarez doesn't helm the next Aliens movie, but I definitely need Kaylee Spaney back as the lead girl. And speaking of the Alien franchise, before we get into kind of the fan service elements that a lot of people on Twitter have been talking about, I have to mention my history with the Aliens franchise. I recently watched the first Aliens movie for the first time ever. Ever, and I got to see it in theaters. I thought it was good, not amazing. I would say great. Aliens, on the other hand, is absolutely amazing. I absolutely love that film. Aliens 3 is not very good. And then the preceding films, the modern ones, I didn't get to actually check out. I started Prometheus, but I kind of just didn't really want to finish it because I got busy with moving, as you guys can tell. And yes, the setup is still ongoing. It's, it's a mess right now, but I have to talk about Alien Romulus. And my personal history aside, the fan service was a big topic of discussion going in. And they do do one thing, in my opinion, that isn't super tasteful, to be honest. They do bring back a character using deep fakes. And I think the main criticism is like, it's AI, it's AI. All deep fakes are AI. They always have been. So I don't know if that should be the main complaint of is like, it's AI. Just in general, deep faking a dead person to bring them back or a younger version of that person without having the older version there. It's just not in good taste at all whatsoever. But it does work for the story. Yes, they could have written a different story, but I think it kind of the story overall is really interesting to me, and the fan service aside, I mean, yeah, there's lines from previous movies, but I don't really care. I mean, this movie takes place between Alien and Aliens, but feels completely different. They're stranded on the Romulus ship, trying to search around. They're on an infested ship. It's not necessarily story-wise, other than that one character, reliant on other characters. Yeah, they say some lines, and the delivery seems a little bit similar, but that didn't really take me away, personally. But my favorite thing about the core of this film in comparison to the Aliens franchise is that this truly feels like the first movie where it is just like a slasher film with people getting killed off constantly and you're going to understand these characters and their character dynamics and why they're acting the way that they are. This literally just feels like a modern day remake of the original Alien movie. Take that how you will but that's how I feel. Aliens on the other hand is definitely more in depth with the lore and this movie just doesn't touch on all of that. That's a good thing and a bad thing. Again, this is the first Aliens movie we've had in a very long time, and so I think they could definitely build up Kaylee Spaney's character, and there's a lot to talk about, especially after that final act, which I will get into. I do have to talk about the pacing, though, because that's probably my biggest flaw with this film. The first act, yes, it builds the world, but it starts super slow. Maybe it was tired because I woke up at 5 a.m. to move, but I mean, it builds the world, right? That's kind of all you can ask for, but I'm not really sure we really needed all of that. I think 30 minutes in, this movie truly just gets going and I really, really love it. But before that, we get some character moments. I just didn't think they were necessarily essential or at least I just didn't connect with them enough to care about the payoff in the final act. I've talked about the story. I've talked about some of the thematic elements, the characters, the acting. But one of my favorite things about this film has to be the technical elements of it. It is 
pretty much a technical masterclass in my opinion. And I can say that while also admitting that some of the editing is choppy because to me, it kind of flows in the chaotic nature of this story from practical stuff to CG stuff. Everything was really shown to us in the behind the scenes of this movie. A lot of the practical elements were used as promotion for the film. And that's not to say there's no CGI, but I just think it was used really, really well. The score also fucking rocks, dude. It's like, it's like, techno it's so awesome like you just none of the other alien movies have ever fully dove into technical elements that aren't just like the practical effects of the alien itself like xenomorphs have always been cool but there haven't been really surrounding elements to tie it together, at least in my personal opinion, as a person who's watched this movie in the modern era of films. And where this technical element really ties into my favorite part of this film is the third act. Everyone has been talking about the third act, and yes, it is absolutely bonkers, it's insane. I thought this movie was winding down. I thought we were ready to get up and leave. I was watching this movie in 4DX, by the way, so when that final act starts, if you've seen it, you know what happens. You are just getting shaken the f*** out of you. are so, you're my back. It was basically like I got a chiropractor for $7. And it's another thing we've seen in the franchise before, but the modern twist on it with the practicality and the way that the character maneuvers this certain situation, and also the connection between this character and then a character that also kind of propels this final act, another character that's dependent on Kaylee Spaney's character. There's just a lot of elements happening at once that make it unique, at least to me. Again, I'm not the biggest like hype man for the original Aliens movies. I enjoy them. They're not masterclasses in my opinion. So maybe I just had different expectations going in, but I truly did like this movie a lot. But I will say there's an inherent flaw, which I did mention before. It tries too much to be like, let's do Ripley again. Let's let's try to make another Ripley story, not necessarily beat for beat, bar for bar, but let's kind of introduce a final girl that can kind of transition into more of these stories. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. I mean, I'm all game for seven more Kaylee Spaney alien movies. But on the other hand, it does set a bar that is pretty much unreachable by the majority of the aliens fan base. At the end of the day, I really did like Alien Romulus. It's not without its flaws and distasteful moments, but as a whole, it was super intriguing. It's a great horror slasher sci-fi movie. I had so much fun. Check it out on 40X if you can. Overall, I'm going to give Alien Romulus an 8.5 out of 10. One of my favorite movies from the year, possibly the best horror movie of the year so far. Again, let me know you guys thought of Alien Romulus in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace.